Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food where today we're going to be checking out this Russian individual ration pack menu number 19. These are what are known as the Sturm rations. I tried checking out everywhere I could and couldn't figure out what the term Sturm actually meant for these rations but a couple of things that are different from the normal Russian rations it's non-GMO it doesn't have any preservatives the main meal is now in a retort pouch and it comes with a flameless ration heater. A little bit of, uh, about the nutritional facts. You got 25 grams of protein, 57 grams of fat, 106 grams of carbohydrates. It's 1,008 kilocals and the uh, ration weighs 650 grams. This was packed July 22nd, 2020. Got a Best Buy date of March 1st, 2022. It's pretty fresh. Anyway, this uh, doesn't seem to have a tear notch anywhere or a peelable seal. Let me get my knife. Get this opened up real quick. Let's start getting things set out here. I got my translator ready just in case. Um, I know that's pepper. This is a piece of gum. I believe that's uh, Mentos. It's either mint or eucalyptus. eucalyptus. <laughs> We've got a pack of crackers. Let me uh, get this set aside a little bit better. We have a, this is, hang on, let me get the translator. <laughs> Okay, it seems like this is like a isotonic drink. That's a berry mix flavor. That's a decent sized spoon, that's for sure. We have our disinfectant wipes. We got two of them. One's always for like your cutlery. The other one is for your hands. We've got our packet of apple jam, which is everybody's favorite. Got another packet of pepper. Got two. Got a packet of salt. Okay, the way this can is, it's so reflective, the translator doesn't want to pick it up too well. It almost seems like this bottom line it wants to read with smoked meat, but I think it might be a pate. Got one of our little bayberry or fruit candies. Got a packet of tea. 20 gram pack of sugar. We have our flameless ration heater, which is a pretty big pack. <laughs> Got a napkin. And last but not least, we have beef with sweet peppers. This is 250 grams, and I know at the beginning it said that the ration is like non-GMO, no preservatives and everything. I believe this is just for the main because it looks like we got non-GMO, no preservatives, and all natural. And that is everything. Okay, that's everything. Get everything lined up a little bit better. Looks like a decent little single meal. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy everything. But let me get my tray, get everything set up and ready. Okay, here we got everything ready to go. Naturally, we're going to get our main started. And this is this is such a big ration heater for just such a little item. Uh, I already read the directions. You basically uh, put your uh, ration in there, fill it up, 40, 50 milliliters of water up to this line, take off this little uh, piece of tape, fold it over, let it do its thing for 15, 20 minutes. And apparently this, this didn't tear with a damn, did it? All right, hang on. You know, I, uh, I know it has a little scissors icon there. I, uh, <laughs> I guess I should have went by that, but I didn't. All right. That's okay, though. I got a little clip for it, just in case. Let's get this 
heating pan more towards the center. Get our main in there. Okay, that just didn't want to act right at all. Let's get some water in there. Well, I do have to see the line, don't I? That's a little more than what it needed. Oh well. That's just the way it is. But that ration heater is taking off quick. Man, I mean seriously, it is uh, it is already steaming. What'd that take? That was almost like instant. Jeez. But yeah, there you go. That ration heater took off basically instantly. And I'm going to set this aside. Get everything here back in view. Get our berry drink ready. Or berry mix, I guess. Just calls for 240 milliliters of water. And our tea. Had this tea many times. It's pretty common with the Russian rations. that smell but it has a really nice berry smell to it got a lot of sugar in there but I'm gonna get some water ready for our drinks and I'll be right back okay drinks are about ready Main's still going that a uh, flame thrashing heater is ruthless my goodness I went to move it after a few minutes I still burned the shit out of myself but yeah I've always enjoyed the Russian disinfectant wipes. They're, uh, like I said, they're like a, I guess you say a, a dryer sheet. They're, they're pretty strong. They're not soaking wet, but they're, they're nice and damp. They don't smell like anything. They're just an all around great disinfectant wipe. We got a little floaties in our drink. Ain't worried about it. Get our crackers out. Always find it interesting. Let's see if I can find that. There's a whole one in here. That uh, it has a uh, little screw marks of I guess where they're in the little trays that they cook in. But the crackers are okay. I've had them many times. They just taste like your basic plain cracker, a little bit salty. I know our tea's done, it's been five minutes. And we'll open up our apple jam. Everybody loves the apple jam, as far as I know, that comes into Russian rations. Very good flavor, usually nice and thick. Just got a really nice natural apple flavor to it. A little bit sweet, always enjoyable. And I believe this is pate. Get it opened up. Yeah, it's pate. Smells really good. And how you're probably thinking, what are all them dark spots? No, those are just like little little bubbles that were there. It's nothing to worry about. Give this a try. Yeah, that is extremely soft and buttery, very creamy. It has that classic Brunswager flavor to it. This is it's a very nice pate, very good. It doesn't have like that iron flavor that people don't like. It's really good. And we'll give our tea a try.
That's a tea I've always enjoyed. I don't add any sugar to it. It doesn't need any. It doesn't have a bitter taste to it. I just think it's an all-around decent tea. Okay, just to give you an idea on how hot that ration heater is. It says to go 15 to 20 minutes. This is exactly 15 minutes. And I'll give you an idea on how hot this is. That thing is smoking. I know it's not fogging up the camera, but damn. I know I'm not gonna take a bite of it right now, but it smells great. You can easily smell the sweet peppers in there, which I know the pouch shows it looks like it's got yellow bell pepper, red and green, but it looks like I only see red bell pepper. That's okay. It still smells good. But I'm going to dig in here. It's cooled off a little bit. Give this a try. You can see your onions in there. One thing I do, I don't know if it's my camera just acting weird. If I can tell this is beef. There's red bell pepper, onions. But the pouch shows that there's carrot. Which, well yeah, there's some small pieces of carrot. But also she says pasta. I don't see any pasta in there. I don't know if that's my just my, my camera acting weird. Or not, I just don't know. But yeah, let's give this a try. And that has a very nice flavor to it. And it it kind of is actually a little bit of a basic flavor. Like I said, it's just your sweet red bell pepper, onions, beef, and that's about it. And oddly enough, now you know I'm going to put some pepper in there. You, it, it easily needs pepper. But here's one thing you'll probably never hear me say. It also needs salt. It's a little bit bland. All right, let's see how that does. I'm sure it does a lot better. I thought I would never have to add salt to a ration. But this needs it. See how it is now. Yeah, that's a lot better. Quite a bit better. One thing I didn't think of, which I'll probably do later, crumble a bunch of crackers in there soak up a lot of that liquid probably really good but let's check out our mixed berry drink yeah it's not too bad it's a little bit sweet it has a nice i guess mixed berry flavor to it you can tell it's artificial but the sweetness helps it out quite a bit i think it's actually pretty good okay last two items i know this is like a bayberry red fruit candy And it is a little bit sweet, nice berry flavor to it. The center of it is, I don't know, a little bit chewy. I've always enjoyed them. And our gum, I think it's gum, it's Mentos, but I don't know if it's mint or eucalyptus. I'm gonna find out. No, it's mint. And the gum's not too bad. It's about a 50-50 mix between sweet and mint. Unfortunately, after about 20 seconds, it starts getting rubbery. And after about five minutes, it's done. And speaking of done, that's going to do it for this review of this Russian individual ration pack. Menu number 19. This is the Sturm rations. And everything, everything tastes really good. I do find it odd I had to add some pepper and salt to the main. But one thing that's a little discouraging, which I'll bring it back, you see this picture, you got your green and yellow and red bell pepper and beef, and uh, yeah, there's a, uh, hmm, something a little wrong there, but it still tastes okay. 
especially that pate that is a really nice pate but there's definitely a lot of menus out there to choose from for this i'm definitely going to try and check out a few more i'm sure they're all great but i hope you enjoyed this review and if you did hit that like button share with your friends subscribe and i'll see you next time